Hi, you're very welcome. And in this video, what we're going to look at is a scenario where um, I was given, let's say, somebody asked just for some help with a spreadsheet where there are people waiting for treatment and so on. Right. So first of all, I have a waiting list here, which is a list of names, which I got from my ever perennial, evergreen favourite uh, fake name generator. OK, and from this, I generate a fake list of names, a date of birth, gender, date of referral, and used a formula here to calculate the age, um, good old fashioned date diff, all right. Um, and that is not documented in Excel, but if you just Google for date diff, it'll give you the, the syntax for it. And basically it just gives you whatever somebody else, what someone's age is, you know, based on the difference between their date of birth and today. And then the number of weeks waiting, again, which is between the difference between today's date and the um, data referral and the answer divided by seven. So you may find, um, for example, I'm doing this, let's say in August 2020. So you may find if you do this a year from now that you're going to get different ages and different dates because it's formula based. That's just the first thing. Now, the second thing here is the metrics calculation. And I have a number of variables that I need to take care of. So I need to find out, I need to narrow it down by, for example, weeks waiting, zero to 12, and the first group I want to do, to do is those between zero and five. Now, the actual sort of age band, it says between zero and four. Okay? But generally speaking, um, you want people, who, for example, are four and a half are also included in that as well, which is why I have the, the five in it. So the way I kind of set this up, all right, is I click here. And I'm going to use a thing called the count ifs function, which basically is going to count everybody in the waiting list that meets that criteria. So it's going to count, OK, are you waiting between zero and 12 weeks? Are you between the ages of zero and five? And if you are, I'm going to count you up. So let's start with how that starts here. Formulas or functions, statistical and count ifs. And I need count ifs, not count if, because I'm dealing with multiple criteria. So my first criteria range is that I'm looking for weeks waiting. So I go down to waiting list. I highlight my weeks waiting. I then go down to criteria one. And this is where I need to bring in the little thing that I have up here in J1. So open quotation marks, greater than or equal to, close quotation marks, and this one here, weeks waiting. All right. And then I just put B4 on that, All right, because I want to fix it. Now, I also want to do the same thing again. OK, so I'll just come up here, Control C to copy. Same range again, Control V. And this time I want to narrow it down so that it's less than or equal to. Again, quotation marks, ampersand and 12. And then F4 again, because I want to lock it. OK, so at this point, I've narrowed down everybody in the list who's waiting between 0 and 12 weeks but I need to narrow it down further by age. So I click down into criteria range again, go to my waiting list, highlight my age column, and it looks as though this bit has disappeared. I need to click over here on this one. And then I just come back over here then into my waiting list. Okay, and just metrics calculation. And I'm looking for people. Okay, and I'm just gonna do it here open quotation marks, greater than or equal to, and then close quotation marks, uh, ampersand and zero. Okay. That's the first one. Those are the people who are going to be greater than zero, but I need to narrow it down to those people less than five. So I use the same waiting list again, control C, control V, Go down a little bit. And I'm now going to say that they have to be less than or equal to, so open quotation marks, less than, they're going to be less than um, five. Okay, I now gone completely blank. Quotation marks, ampersand, uh, five. Okay. And then I just use F4 again. I'm going to tweak that form a little bit later on when I need to copy it, but right now I'm just going to use F4 and then click OK. And when I've done that, it's given me seven. OK, so I just want to check my answers. So I just go over here to waiting list and I just do the weeks waiting first of all. Number filters between zero and 12.
And then for the age, I just go number filters between, between z greater than or equal to zero, and I want them less than five. Okay, I want to go here then, highlight this here, I see I have seven, I don't know if there's seven. Okay, and then I just clear my filter again. Okay, so that's just the first one done. I'm going to go through, I'm going to go through the other two, the rest of the, the age brackets here in the next video, but let's just kind of stop with that one first of all.